What's up, guys? This is my book. It comes out in two months. Go check it out right now. Pre-order down in the description. But anyways. <laughs> no frills. You can check it out down there. But we are chatting oh. about Brit. This is real. I didn't know this is real. Okay. No for reals, you can check it out down there. But we are talking about breakups today. Uh, the video we did a couple weeks ago, seemed uh, people seemed to enjoy it, and they wanted us to keep doing them. So we thought this week we'd bring another one back. And one of the questions we get a lot that actually we had to work through personally both is what to do during a breakup. And uh, uh, there's a lot of different things there, so I don't know the situation, whether it was a healthy relationship, unhealthy relationship. I know a lot of you guys maybe haven't had a breakup before, um, and so this might not apply, apply to everyone. But for the ones it does, I hope this is helpful. Um, I don't know. I guess a few things come to mind for me when I think of uh, a breakup. I've had I've had one uh, breakup in a really unhealthy relationship when I was like 18 or 19, and then I had one breakup with Alyssa, um, which if you listen to our podcast, you know that story. Um <laughs> In all of them, though, there's a few things that really came up. I think the first thing is uh, uh, that you learn in a breakup is just how important community is. One of the temptations in a breakup is to kind of like isolate because when you're in that much pain, yeah. when there's that much hurt, you kind of start to kind of curl in. And that's, or think nobody understands what I'm going through. Yeah, or yeah. I'm such a mess. Nobody wants to be around me. Yeah, exactly. And it's hard. I mean, sometimes it can be such a hard breakup where you. it's one of those ones where... I mean, there's something weird about fi- uh, 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 not physical relationships. I mean, like... Um, uh, dating relationships where um, like love is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel like anything can get as close to physical pain is what I meant. Meaning like it almost, it's sometimes it can be so harsh and feel so real that it almost um, shows itself tangibly in the sense of you just like struggle to wake up. You struggle to go about the day without thinking um, about it all the time. Yeah. I know for me, I definitely got into a season of clinical depression after uh, that breakup I had when I was like 18 or 19. Um, So with that being said, community is huge. I think we, we, we want to curl in and isolate and hide. Um, But that's not the best. We were created to be vulnerable, to be transparent with others. And a breakup is a real beautiful time and opportunity to do that with people, to be honest, to share where your struggles are, where your hurts, why it's hurting, what's going on, to get help from people older than you, not just your friends. But I think a lot of us, we need kind of pastors or or just a, a, a great married couple above us that can help us really walk us through it. And a lot of times, nine times out of 10, you'll hear that other person say, I've been there. I know what it feels like. You will get through it uh, and remind that uh, of, to you every single day. And then I, I have a few other things, but would, would any come to mind for you first? No, keep going. That's what I get. <laughs> and then I guess that I, well, I don't know if I have a few more other things. One of the things I was going to say is don't run away from the pain either. Mm, um, yeah. I think, I think a lot of times the temptation, because again, it can be some of the most sharp in my life, emotionally, the sharpest pain I've ever felt was in, in a dating relationship breakup. So um, it can be really hard and painful. And again, the temptation is to run from that, to cover it up, to either use things that are not the best for you to do that, or just in the sense of just kind of trying to like be busy or work a lot or just not think about it, um, or, or just try to kind of numb yourself or whatever. When I think sometimes if you dive headfirst into the pain, God's in that. I think God can really teach you stuff, show you stuff. Um, you can learn things in breakups that you can't learn in any other situation in the sense of what God wants to do in your life, what he wants to teach you in that moment, how he wants to work in your life. And so don't forsake the pain, meaning I think, um, uh, and, and also too, for me, the closest times I've ever had to God, meaning where I really feel like so intimate with him when I'm reading the scriptures, so close to him, I feel like he's answering my prayers. I feel like his love is tangible in my life has again been in those breakup seasons. So there's a weird double-edged sword where the, the, the sweetest times I've had with the Lord has also been in the hardest times of my life. And I think if you really press in and if you're honest about the pain, you know, if you read the Psalms, like David was honest, I think a lot of times we think we have to be shiny and cleaned up with God rather than saying, no, this sucks, this hurts, this is hard. And get up every day and tell God that, mm-hmm. um, then I feel like that's you're really starting in a real beautiful place because you're honest and vulnerable with Him, and then He can say, "Hey, I meet you right there. I'm right here for you. I'm right here with you, every step of the way." So don't forsake the pain. I know that's so hard, but it's a beautiful teacher, I guess, or, or can at least teach you things maybe that um, other things can't. Um, and that's just all personal experience. All the things I just said is kind of from my breakups, things I've learned. Yeah. What, what, what would you say well, if you're going another through Another way to say what you're saying is um, allow yourself to grieve. Because mm-hmm. whether you're the one that broke up with the person or you were the breakup B, um, it's still a loss of a, mm. a relationship and mm-hmm. a loss of a friendship. Like regardless of even how long you dated. Yeah, yeah. So um, allow yourself to grieve the loss of that relationship. Yeah, but even if it's short or long, because some people will think like, yeah. oh, we didn't even date that long. I shouldn't be feeling like this. Right. But it's like, no, no, you were, we're created 
human beings are created with the capacity to love deeply and to be known deeply. And the the flip side of that coin is that you can be hurt deeply. Right. And so even if it's a short, yeah, I think even you still... Even if it's like so, many, so much hope or so much expectation on that relationship. Yeah, even if it's it short. Didn't happen. And mm-hmm. so just be able to grieve all that and work and be okay through it with, with it. the Lord. Yeah, and I think I had two breakups also. And um, I think the first one when I broke up with Jeff, mm-hmm. I thought like I broke up with him. I should be totally fine. I should be the strong one. Mm-hmm. And I didn't allow myself to grieve. And that was like the worst summer ever and just feeling like I had to be this like strong person, but mm-hmm. really inside I was depressed and mm-hmm. like everything felt overwhelming for me. And then the second time when um, somebody broke up with me, I just let myself grieve the process yeah. and, and, you feel like it kinda... and I really clung to the Lord and cried out to him and it was like so much sweeter and just so much more healing than mm. the first one mm-hmm. and um, and just what you said to be around community and not just one person one person's great but to have like a whole handful of people that you can go to and say just go over for lunch and cry on their like in their <laughs> on their bed until like you're done with all your tears yeah. or your roommate and who sees everything and just to be really honest and mm-hmm. raw with them and not to run from it. And I think not that I was going to make a classic like Ben and Jerry's joke where, you know, you like when you break up, you get the ice cream and sit on the couch and watch the movies. No, but all really. <laughs> and not that you want to be like self-consumed and that, yeah. that those friendships, it's all about you, but you mm-hmm. want to be able to be totally honest. Be like yeah. this moment right now sucks. And like, I'm angry or I'm mm-hmm. really sad and have them walk through it with you and let you, feel those things mm-hmm. and then point you to the Lord through it. So I guess I don't really have anything extra, but just adding on to what you said. Um, yeah. I mean, I think really good. And I think too, one thing, sorry, okay, extra. No, no, just, and I just to think, <laughs> I think, um, when I dated, I was so scared of a breakup uh-huh. and just the, the fear there of losing someone, the fear of being disappointed, of failure. Like, mm-hmm. I failed. This relationship was a bad idea. I shouldn't mm-hmm. have gotten into it, whatever. And realizing that, um, like, the Lord is so much bigger than that and nothing is mm-hmm. in vain. Like, the Lord, um, those who believe in Him will not be disappointed. Mm-hmm. And so knowing that whatever relationship you are getting out of, that wasn't a waste of time. Mm-hmm. But, like, the Lord can... If it wasn't healthy, then the Lord can redeem it mm-hmm. and he can really heal and work out things in you through it. And if it was a healthy relationship that just wasn't the right relationship, the best one, to know that the Lord is just preparing you for the future spouse yeah. that you are going to have. Mm-hmm. And it's making you stronger and drawing you closer to the Lord. And so everything is, um, you know, it's it not can vain. Shape, Yeah, it can shape you and mold you yeah. to really create... Um, to keep drawing you closer to Jesus, right. and that's similar to what I was going to say that I just thought of too is uh, don't don't put the weight of like the next couple years of like basically like you trying to be over that person. Don't try to in like three years or whatever. Don't put all of that weight on yourself all at once. Just look at one day at a time. Right. Meaning like just put one day in front of another and say, okay, my job today is to trust Jesus, to believe He's for my good, to believe He has my future in His hands. Mm-hmm. And um, if that makes sense, like don't, sometimes we can take that whole thing right. and be like, why am I not, why am I not over this person yet? Or why am I not whatever? And we kind of take the whole future and just, we bear that burden of it right. rather than just the next day. Just really trust him, really lean into him and really believe that he's for your good. He knows you, he loves you. Um, and he can be trusted. And I think that's what a lot of us learn through breakups. And so it's very simple stuff that we're saying, but very much um, the stuff that you come out of the other side learning so again don't forsake that pain find community know that god has his best for you um and that's such a real beautiful thing and so i mean i think just dig into the word and his promises mm -hmm. for you yeah and that's and that's when i said like i had the sweetest time with the lord in those moments it was because of the scripture too because i had nowhere else to turn so i would almost fall on my face and say man i need um Mm -hmm. i just need the word you know i need something that really gives me that hope and gives me that peace and day after day after day after day it's one of those things where you might not notice growth like in the moment but you know a year or two later when you look back and you've been in the scriptures and praying on your knees for two years you know that that really has a lot of fruit to it and so um i would say yeah that too yeah you got anything else um I have a lot more, but I don't know if it's the right time for that. So maybe we'll toss good. it on the. Well, maybe we might toss it on the podcast or something. But um, that's all we got. Let us know in the comments if this was helpful or anything like that. Or if you have any more questions, that's all we got. Also, don't forget to pre-order the book. It's right here. I just. <laughs> 
I just joked. I feel like talking like a. Do you want me to promo it for you? <laughs> yeah, please, please. Everyone, my husband's book comes out October 13th. It's not what you think, but it's not what you think. It's really amazing. Oh, did it's, you do a little double on thing there? Yeah, like yeah. You said the title, and then you said it actually hashtag. is not what you think. What's the hashtag? Uh, I N W Y T book. Ooh, that's really difficult. I know, but we had to do that because it's not what you think brought up some real scandalous things. Oh. <laughs> because anyway. people would post up and say it's not what you think. Don't go look at that Pre-order now. It's going to um, be a super great book for you Ooh. and a Bible study and just pre-order. I'm pretty proud of him for this. All right. I'm getting awkward now. Okay. We love you guys. Talk to you later. Peace.